Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, books that I'm currently reading, referencing uh, since we've been in quarantine. It's been a little bit over a month. Today is Saturday, um, April 24th or 5th. I think it's April 25th. So yeah. Um, so I've been looking at, I've had these books for a while and so I'm going to show you uh, some of my collection and why I love them and reference them and I've been reading them again since we've been in quarantine because they're just that good. So here we go. So here we go. Okay. So I love poems and reading poems. So I have uh, Milk and Honey here by Rupi Kaur. Uh, she's pretty awesome. She was in LA a couple years ago, but she uh, wrote this book um, a while back. And um, it's just like a, a compilation of uh, like short poems. I love it. It's really good. I always read it um, she starts off with like uh, she talks about the hurting the loving the breaking the healing um, so it goes from like you know being in a relationship or before getting in a relationship then being in love breaking up and then the healing from that so um, I'll read one actually I'd be lying if I said you make me speechless the truth is you make my tongue so weak it forgets what language to speak in so yeah it's um, stuff like that uh, it's really good and if you haven't heard of her you should definitely check her out uh, I have the milk well I have milk and my honey uh, I have milk and honey as well as the sun and um, her flowers. And this one is really good as well. Um, I love them both. They are really good uh, books to just escape reality. And that's why I love reading these short poem, um, these short poems. So yeah. Um, now, my next book is basically uh, just talking about how, you know, you could just stop doubting your greatness, basically, and start living an awesome life. So, um, by Jen Sincero, you are a badass. And it's really about, it's almost like just giving you a kick in the butt and just telling you to go out and make life happen. Um, she has another book about uh, money when it comes to managing your finances. I haven't picked up that one yet, but I bet it's amazing because this one is fantastic. I love it. Um, and it's just a good booster, a good like how-to guide. Uh, it's amazing. You should look into it if you have it. And uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, just self-reflection. You think about, you know, how you do things the way you do. And, you know, don't ever doubt yourself, basically. You know, sometimes you deal with people that aren't on the same level as you. And um, sometimes you have to remember where you, you know, what you stand for and who you are. And this is a good book to remind you of that so Jen Sincero you are badass yeah now this book here I um found on I found out about him I want to say on Instagram and uh his name is Anthony Wilm and he had this big phenomenon going on about celery juice and I've actually it is it is awesome it gives you so much energy uh, the celery juice and uh, just helps you feel better and you do feel a difference in the way you move so to speak um, you're consistent with drinking it first thing in the morning but I picked up this book medical medium well obviously yeah that was that's his name Anthony Wilm aka also known as medical medium and uh, life-changing foods I have another one healing your thyroid but this one I reference the most because I'm always into um, you know just bettering my diet and so 
you know, he talks about things that are like good for you. Cherries, you know, the reason why you want to eat those. A lot of superfoods in here. He gives some recipes as well. Um, obviously, here's a green juice recipe. You know, it's very inclusive with photos. Here's another recipe for asparagus soup. Um, it gives you tips for, you know, just, you know, how these foods can change. Oh, here's the celery we were speaking about. It gives you just like a whole, like, you know, background and, you know, if you have symptoms and what the celery juice could do to relieve those symptoms. Uh, it's awesome. I read this book. I reference it all the time. They talk about vegetables, onions, and why you want to eat them, cruciferous vegetables. I mean, it's like a freaking encyclopedia uh, of like all produce and vegetables and why they're good for you and why you should incorporate them into your diet every day. It's very inspiring. I really enjoy reading this book. Um, talks about uh yeah foods targeted to bring into your life life for relief from hundreds of symptoms and conditions including anxiety fatigue inflammation lyme disease migraines memory loss uh thyroid disease weight gain insomnia the list goes on infertility even digestive problems um he's awesome he's not even he's not a doctor he's just done research and you know passionate about food so um yeah he has a more than this is like book two of his series um again i have another one but yeah uh, i feel like he has like four or five books out but um uh, they're amazing I could go on and on about him. I won't um, do, you can look him up on Amazon. Obviously he has a website and uh, just see for yourself. And so, okay. So the next book I have had, I've had this book for a long time, but I always love reading this. It kind of just uh, gives me, takes me back into like a uh, Jen Sincero's book, but Girl Boss. This is another good book. It's about Sophia Amoruso. She uh, basically worked at a college campus and uh, she only took the job because she um, needed the health insurance. So she got what she needed fixed. She had a hernia. She got what she needed to, you know, take care of her medical expenses. And then as soon as that was done, she quit the job. And uh, she didn't even know what she was going to do, like, I don't think immediately after. But I think she had done research and saw stuff on MySpace uh, about with girls with boutiques. And so, basically, she um, was like, I could do this. And she started, like, her own business on MySpace. And then it turned into... Um, then she ended up on eBay and she was on there for like two years and ended up getting kicked off. But she saved a lot of money and she just hustled her butt off. Um, then she ended up with a store on Melrose, Nasty Gal. Um, and I think she ended up selling that. And now she has a, a company. I think it's still called Girl Boss. Or, yeah, I think it's called Girl Boss. I don't know. But the book is awesome. I would check it out. Um, you can audio book it, obviously, if you want to. It's one of those good audio books you can, you know, have it going in the background. It's, it's inspiring. Um, one thing about her that stood out to me that I still found amazing and super inspiring. Is I watched her doing an interview, and she uh, said that, one, you know, she was just so focused on her business that she had made 900 or she saved $975,000 into her business account. And uh, she basically was, um, uh, she had like 8000 or something in her personal account. But I thought it was so dope that she had $975,000 saved in her, uh, in her account. Um, that's just so inspiring to me. So, yeah, check it out. Yeah. Um, so, these are some of the books I've been reading. So, you know, let me know what your favorite books are. Yeah, I please recommend to me. I'm always looking for new books to, to read. Um, 
you know, and uh, keep me, keep my mind flowing. So let me know what's your favorite books and comment down below. Comment down below, but let me know what your favorite books are, uh, what you're into right now, what you're reading. I love to know. I love to have recommendations. Uh, please like this video, subscribe for, you know, let me know what you want to see next for me. I will be happy to oblige. And thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.